guys do you know the difference between segmentation and fragmentation if you knows the answer please let me know your answer in comment section but in case if you don't know the answer then watch this video till the end and guys before talking about the differences between segmentation and fragmentation let me tell you what is segmentation and fragmentation so segmentation and fragmentation both are a process of dividing large size of data into a smaller part of data why we need segmentation and fragmentation because application layer does not have any limitation application layer can generate any size of data but suppose between source and destination you have one networking device let's say switch or it can be router and their mtu is 1500 by default mtu size of cisco devices is 1500 bytes so mtu is 1500 byte that means a router can forward data whose size is up to 1500 byte because mtu is maximum transfer unit so if router will receive a data whose size is greater than mtu then router can not forward it router have to divide it into two part because capacity of their interface is to forward traffic up to 1500 byte only but as application layer does not have any limitation so application layer can generate any size of data now this is a responsibility of transport layer no transport layer see again at transport layer we have two protocol tcp and udp so tcp is responsible for dividing large size of data into a smaller part of data right and dividing large size of data into a smaller part of data at layer 4 at transport layer is known as segmentation right and dividing large size of data into a smaller part of data at layer 3 is known as fragmentation so this is one difference okay so hope this is clear like what is segmentation what is fragmentation and why we need it because guys as i told you application layer does not have any limitation it can generate any size of data but transport layer is going to maintain flow control right so all the application layer protocol which uses tcp service at transport layer tcp protocol at transport layer again at transport layer we have two protocol transmission control protocol and user datagram protocol udp udp is not going to divide large size of data into a smaller part of data this is the reason why we need fragmentation if application layer is generating a large size of data let's say data size is 2000 byte and that protocol using udp at transport layer so here udp is not going to divide large size of data into a smaller part of data that means sender machine is going to send 2000 size of data to server directly and guys there is one router that can not forward data whose length is more than 1500 byte so router is going to drop it but no router is going to do going to perform fragmentation so we have fragmentation for all udp based traffic or you can say for the traffic generated at layer 3 below transport layer right so all the traffic except tcp traffic we have what guys fragmentation we need what fragmentation so that my router can divide large size of data into a smaller part because here tcp protocol is not going to divide the data just try to understand with one example let's suppose you are trying to access google server so your machine your pc is the client machine and server is the receiver machine google server and guys between source and destination there are multiple networking devices router switches firewall right access point lots of devices are there and all devices need to receive data on one interface and need to forward the data from their other interface right and all interfaces will have one mtu maximum transfer unit so router or any device can not forward a data whose length is more than their mtu size so that's why dividing large data into a smaller part is needed guys right so transport layer is responsible to divide sorry not transport tcp protocol is responsible to divide large size of data into a smaller part of data and that is called segmentation right now question is how transport layer is going to divide large size of data into a smaller part of data 
सो गाइज विद द हेल्प ऑफ एम एस एस मैगजिमम सेगमेंट साइज सो एज ए टोल यू लेट सपोज योर पी सी वन टू एक्स इज गूगल सर्वर एंड दे आर आर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ नेटवर्किंग डिवाइसिस बिटवीन सोर्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन एंड सपोज योर मशीन इज ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस वेब पेज दैट मीन्स इट इज गोइंग टू यूज एस टी टी पी एस प्रोटोकॉल पोर्ट नंबर फोर फोर्टी थ्री सो एट एप्लीकेशन लेयर मीन्स एप्लीकेशन लेयर इज गोइंग टू जनरेट वन एस टी टी पी डेटा एंड साइज ऑफ डेटा कैन बी एनी थिंग बिकॉज देर इज नो एनी लिमिटेशन एट एप्लीकेशन लेयर बट वेन एप्लीकेशन लेयर इज गोइंग टू फॉरवर्ड इट टू ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर एट ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर टी सी पी प्रोटोकॉल विल वर्क बिकॉज एस टी टी पी एस इज टी सी पी बेस्ट प्रोटोकॉल सो एट ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर टी सी पी प्रोटोकॉल इज गोइंग टू रिसीव इट एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू डिवाइड इट इन टू ए स्मॉलर पार्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ वॉट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एम एस एस मैगजिमम सेगमेंट साइज न क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज मैगजिमम सेगमेंट साइज गाइज सो एज यू नो ऑल टी सी पी बेस्ट प्रोटोकॉल फर्स्ट एस्टैब्लिश अ लॉजिकल कनेक्शन बिटवीन सोर्स एंड डेस्टिनेशन बिफोर सेंडिंग एक्चुअल डेटा सो माई एक्चुअल डेटा इज एस टी टी पी डेटा फॉर गूगल सर्वर बट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सेंड दिस एस टी टी पी डेटा टू गूगल सर्वर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड टू एस्टैब्लिश अ लॉजिकल कनेक्शन दैट इज टी सी पी कनेक्शन एंड हाउ योर क्लाइंट मशीन इज गोइंग टू एस्टैब्लिश अ टी सी पी कनेक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रोसेस कॉल्ड थ्री वे हैंडसेक Why we are saying three-way handshake? Because we are going to use three messages here, right? One is SYN message, second one is SYN plus ACK message, and third one is ACK message. Now, what is SYN message? So SYN stands for synchronization. Actually, this is TCP header. This is TCP header. Whenever a client machine want to send TCP-based traffic to any other device, to any receiver device, so you can say. whenever a sender machine want to send a data to receiver machine which is tcp based so guys sender machine have to establish a logical connection first before sending actual data syn syn plus ack and ack so sender machine is going to send syn message first to the server syn message is just a tcp header with syn bit on means in the tcp header guys we have one field called flag field so we have some flags here like syn flag ack flag fin flag urgent flag right so sender machine is going to on syn bit in the tcp header and after that it will send to the server destination port is going to be 443 source port will be random port number from the free range source ip will be the ip address of client machine destination ip will be the ip address of destination device server now transport layer will send it to server when server will receive this tcp header guys with syn bit on syn means synchronization it will get to know receiver machine will get to know oh someone is trying to establish a connection with me so it is going to receiver machine is going to send acknowledgement of this syn message so let's suppose receiver machine is receiving syn message on sequence number 0 so receiver machine is going to give acknowledgement on acknowledgement number 1 and while sending acknowledgement receiver machine is going to send their own syn message as well right because this connection is going to be bidirectional so both machines are sending syn message synchronization message both machines are trying to establish a connection between source and destination so receiver machine is also going to send syn message to the client machine and finally in the third message client machine is going to send acknowledgement to the receiver machine and this is how a sender machine and receiver machine can establish a logical connection and guys after establish a, a connection logical connection tcp connection sender machine can send actual data that is http data now sender machine need to divide it right because size of data is still let's say 5000 bytes or 2000 bytes so you know while establishing a connection logical connection while three way handshake while exchanging syn and ack messages between source and destination both machines are going to negotiate minimum mtu size minimum mtu size let's suppose there are thousand number of devices between source and destination like your pc and server right your pc is the sender machine server is the receiver machine between sender and receiver there are thousand of devices right and all devices have different mtu again 
maximum transfer you need right so sender and receiver both machines are going to negotiate minimum mtu size so let's suppose minimum mtu is 1500 byte minimum mtu between source and destination is 1500 byte so now your machines is going to decide what should be the segment size that is called guys mss maximum segment size so if mtu is 1500 byte then size of a segment should be what 1460 bytes why because transport here is going to add tcp header and guys length of tcp header is 20 bytes so after adding header with mss means with the segment segment size is 1460 bytes plus 20 bytes tcp header and then 20 bytes layer 3 header that is ip header so total length of header is 40 bytes 20 bytes tcp header 20 bytes ip header so your machine is going to subtract 40 bytes from the minimum mtu from the calculated minimum mtu so calculated minimum mtu is 1500 bytes it is going to subtract 40 bytes from the minimum mtu means means a client machine can send a data whose size is up to 1500 bytes whose size is 1500 up to 1500 bytes that means segment size should be 1460 bytes so that it will add 20 bytes tcp header and 20 bytes ip header right so how machines are doing segmentation guys with the help of mss maximum segment size now if i will talk about the fragmentation so fragmentation is going to done on the basis of mtu maximum transfer unit so the second difference is segmentation will done on the basis of mss maximum segment size and fragmentation will done on the basis of mtu maximum transfer unit second difference segmentation is going to done at layer 4 by transport layer at transport layer by tcp protocol and fragmentation will done at layer 3 right at network layer by your router by your layer 3 device right so these are two difference between segmentation and fragmentation now guys make sure if you have you are sending or your pc is sending some udp based traffic let's say your client machine is sending dscp packet dns packet to the dns server right so dns is udp based protocol right dscp is udp based protocol so this time if my application layer is generating udp traffic means dscp traffic then a transport layer protocol is udp right so udp is not going to divide large data into a smaller part why because udp is not going to establish any logical connection so udp don't know anything about the mtus guys mtu between source and destination so it can udp cannot find the mss size of segment what should be the size of segment so when udp will forward the actual size of data to lower layer to network layer so network layer is going to add ip header directly here network layer is not going to divide it right so your client at the client machine let's suppose size of data is 2000 bytes right but minimum mtu is still 1500 bytes so network layer have received the data now this network layer is going to add ip header so it will add 20 bytes ip header means that is also extra information so total length of data is 20 bytes at transport layer or 8 byte because i am using udp so by default size of udp header is 8 bytes so data size plus udp header 8 bytes plus ip header and then it will forward from the their exit interface then let's suppose one router is receiving it and guys their interface mtu is only 1500 bytes so this time router cannot forward this data so router need to divide it now see if router is dividing it that means it is fragmentation 
and guys mix your in the ip header don't fragment bit is off see in the ip header we have one flag field and we have three flag first flag is reserved that will be always zero second flag is don't fragment and third flag is more fragment so if you will turn off this bit if your client machine is going to turn off this bit means don't fragment it then guys router is not going to divide it router will not divide it into a smaller part then router will simply drop it so make sure if your client machine is sending any size of data to receiver machine that can be because of udp or traffic at layer 3 so if your client machine is not dividing large data into a smaller part then don't fragment bit should be off in the ip header otherwise router will not perform segmentation fragmentation sorry right so requirement of fragmentation is don't fragment bit should be zero and guys third flag is more fragment bits so whenever router is going to divide it router is going to divide large data into a smaller part right so it will on more fragment bit so more fragment bit, bit means whenever your receiver machine server will receive the data and if more fragment bit is on that means i am going to receive some more fragmented packet some more fragmented packet means there are some more a smaller part of this data this is not the complete data and let's suppose a router have divided a large size of data into two part so in the first part more fragment bit will be on right and when the server will receive it it will see okay more fragment bit is on that means more fragment packet is coming and guys in the second fragment packet more fragment bit will be off that means it is the last fragment packet so today we understood the differences between segmentation and fragmentation. First difference, segmentation done at layer 4, fragmentation done at layer 3. Segmentation done on the basis of MSS, fragmentation done on the basis of MTU. Segmentation done by TCP protocol at transport layer, fragmentation done by IP protocol at network layer okay now if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today